Let's find out how mega malls offering everything from shopping to leisure activities are competing for the malling crowd. A slew of new technologies are raising the efficiency of solar power, making it more viable than ever before. An Englishman has created an education company here in Korea, the story behind the startup Palm Island. A mysterious fire extinguisher puts out fires with sound. Could this be true, and how does it work? Find out on today's BizLine. Mauling has become a new consumer trend with one mega shopping complex opening after another. Marketing campaigns to entice the mauling crowd has become the hot new thing in the retail industry. Let's take a closer look at mauling in Korea, present and future. This is a giant shopping mall complex in Seoul where the mauling crowds hang out all day long. Shopping in fashion stores, eating from a range of restaurants, and entertaining themselves in its megaplex. With more and more people turning to shopping malls, not just for shopping but as a form of leisure, malling has become a new consumer trend. Large mall complexes with a variety of contents were first introduced to Korea with the opening of Coex Mall in 2000. Since then, the mauling crowd has been growing rapidly. Mauling이라고 하는 거는 그냥 쇼핑은 뭐 기본이고 플러스 엔터테인먼트 플러스 힐링까지 되는 그런 어떤 복합적인 인간의 활동이다. 몰에서 시간과 돈을 쓰는 라이프 스타일이다 이렇게 정의할 수 있겠습니다. According to a survey by the Korea Consumer Agency, 63.9% of respondents pick the ability to fulfill many needs in one place. Respondents most frequently use the cultural and shopping spaces when visiting malls. With the rise of the malling trend greatly impacting sales, Multi-purpose malls are now transforming themselves with a range of marketing campaigns to entice the malling crowd. One large mall in Yongsan operates a water park and ice rink in the summer and winter, respectively. Since a futsal field was opened on the rooftop to attract male customers, about 3,500 to 4,000 male customers now use the mall each month. 일단 이 시설을 이용하게 된 이유가 무엇보다 여기 일단 도심 중심에 있고 그러니까 여기 어 종로나 이렇게 강남이나 이렇게 다른 지역에 있는 친구들도 다 같이 모일 수가 있어요. 그리고 어또 여기는 풋살장에 바로 밑에 이렇게 편의시설도 있고 식당도 있고 막 여기 있으니까 바로 이렇게 음료수 같은 것도 사 먹을 수 있고 이런 것도 되게 좋고. The newly attracted customers spend money on other goods as well, leading to a positive cycle of increased sales. Water Park's 경우에는 어린이 물놀이 상품이라든가 카페 매출이 한 2, 30% 이상 신장하고 있고요. 그 풋살장 같은 경우에도 아침에 그 식사를 하시는 분들이 많기 때문에 뭐 많게는 최대 두배 이상 그 식당과 매출이 오르기도 하고 있습니다. Multi-purpose shopping malls are beginning to include hotels to provide accommodation and facilities. These hotels are now selling a variety of packaged products catered to the malling crowd. This hotel has launched a special package for shopping mall users with flexible checkout times and other services. Customers can even get discounts from selected stores within the mall by presenting their key card, drawing a huge response from mallers. 한 곳에서 뭐 쇼핑이나 영화, 또 투숙, 뭐 이런 거다 이제 이용할 수 있으니까 그것도 좋았고 그리고 객실 키 보여주면 이제 주요 매장에서 할인도 가능하니까 이제 가장 좋더라고요. 도심에서 여유롭게 휴가를 보내는 젊은 고객들에게 특히 인기가 많습니다. 이 패키지를 시작한 지한달 정도 되었는데 어, 벌써 200개 가까운 객실이 판매될 정도로 반응이 굉장히 좋습니다. Another trend in shopping malls to entice the malling crowd is mall gourmet dining. 
This is a giant shopping mall that opened recently. There are more than 100 food and beverage outlets operating here, including 17 overseas brands opening their first ever Korea branch. 롯데 월드몰의 식음료 매장을 방문하시는 고객수는 월 평균 40만에서 50만 명 수준으로 젊은 영 고객층, 커플층, 패밀리 고객, 면세점을 찾는 해외 관광객 등 다양한 계층으로 구성되어 있습니다. With the prolonged economic downturn, people are turning to small splurges rather than large purchases. This means that as fashion sales drop, shopping mall sales are increasingly impacted by the number of popular restaurants. 왜냐하면 이제 패션 이런 머천다이징 쪽에서는 전부 다 이제 구색이 비슷해졌기 때문에 차별화가 별로 안 일어나기 때문에 이제 FMB에서 차별화는 지방이라든지 해외 맛집을 유치시킴으로써 경쟁 쇼핑몰 또는 경쟁 소매업태와의 차별화가 달성할 수 있기 때문에 이제 맛집을 찾는 게 어떻게 보면은 어떤 특정 쇼핑몰의 경쟁력이 되고 있다. According to the Korea Chain Stores Association, there were 82 small and large multi-purpose shopping malls in Korea, including outlet malls. The number is expected to exceed 100 this year. The domestic shopping mall industry and malling trend is said to be in the phase of major growth. However, for a sustained growth, a variety of contents has to be developed so as to push growth in quality rather than scale. 한국 쇼핑몰이 좀더 이제 자리를 잡아서 한국 쇼핑몰만의 어떤 독특한 쇼핑 문화, 웰빙 문화, 안식 문화를 만들어 낸다면은 한국의 이제 몰을 방문하기 위해서 일본, 중국, 그 다음에 전 세계에서 외국인 방문객이 올수 있는 그런 하나의 인센티브로까지도 발전할 수 있는 그런 어떤 한국식 몰링 문화를 만드는 그런 과제도 아직 남아 있는 것 같습니다. While traditional retail channels have hit a wall, multi-purpose shopping malls are continuously evolving to entice the malling crowd. Thus, the malling trend looks set to spread even more rapidly. Let's keep an eye out for the exciting changes this will bring to the retail scene. Solar energy holds great potential as a possible replacement for fossil fuels. We introduce a variety of next-generation technologies in solar power that enable efficient energy collection and versatile applications in various industries. This is a typical solar power module with panels aligned at an angle facing the sky to collect solar energy. Usually, modules are installed on land or on rooftops. This is a reservoir located in Gyeonggi-do province for agricultural use. What sets it apart is a huge solar power facility floating on the water. It has more than 1,600 solar modules with densely aligned cells. It rotates slowly following the sun to catch its rays directly. The entire module rotates on an axis of 1.2 meter diameter. It is a rotating and floating solar power plant which can collect solar energy from morning to evening following the sun's location. 상 태양광 회전 발전 시스템은 지상 고정식의 튼튼함을 유지하면서 물의 부력을 이용하여 발전소 전체가 두 대의 모다로 아침부터 저녁까지 햇볕을 따라 회전함으로써 고효율을 내는 방식이라 하겠습니다. The water helps cool the solar modules and when it rotates from east to west from morning to evening, it can capture solar power reflected on the water surface. The rotating floating system generates electricity for an average of 4.92 hours a day, a 36% improvement in efficiency over the least efficient ground-mounted system. 중심축을 저수지 안반 층까지 굴착하여 어, 초당 50m의 태풍에도 견딜 수 있도록 구조 검토를 마친 후 시공되어 국가 시설물인 저수지의 안정성을 최우선으로 하였으며 또한 부상체의 회전으로 인해 저수지 물이 수리 작용으로 수질을 개선하여 수면 아래의 차가운 물을 끌어올려 수면의 분사함으로써 수면의 온도 상승을 막아 녹조를 예방하는 효과가 있습니다. Although solar power has a clear market dominance over other renewable energy forms in Korea, its scale pales in comparison to that in other countries. 
This is because Korea has a small land mass and high urban concentration, limiting its capacity for solar power which requires installation over wide surface areas. This problem is addressed by the solution of building integrated solar power system which uses windows as solar modules. If the numerous windows in urban buildings were to be used as solar panels, they would be able to generate large amounts of electricity without the use of additional land. The only problem is that solar modules are not transparent. Recently occurring research team developed a double-sided thin film solar cell, which is translucent, and able to absorb energy from the sun on the outer side, and energy from electrical lights on the inner side. 지금까지는 이제 결정형 실리콘 태양전지가 우리가 벽에 어, 설치도 할수 있고 그래가지고 대부분 다 사용이 되고 있습니다. 하지만 이 결정형 실리콘 태양전지는 어, 불투명하기 때문에 우리가 창문으로 적용하기에는 한계가 있습니다. The Copper Indium Gallium Selenide or CIGS thin film solar cell is a next generation solar cell, which is lighter than silicon solar cells and maintains over 90% of efficiency in both extreme heat and cold. However, it is opaque, not allowing sunlight to pass through, and comes with high manufacturing costs. The Korean research team has succeeded in developing a translucent CIGS thin film solar cell, thus allowing it to be used in windows. The Gabion, the Pisa, on the Pajang, the Hupsurago, Tukarishkina, Iron, Gorakalian, the Songjin in there. The Bendigabi, Jum Chagan Bendigable, Sunum Bulchir, Sayongi Temune, Kumankan Kashi Gangson, Tuka Hal Hungry Jogajin, and there. Join on the Bendigabi Kun, Kijone, Kobda Hoshin Kun. 그런 광 흡수층 물질을 사용했기 때문에 가시광의 일부분이 투과할 확률이 커지게 되는 것입니다. Moreover, the outer layer absorbs sunlight while the inner layer absorbs from interior lighting simultaneously, making it highly efficient. With technological improvement in the future, the double-sided thin film solar cell could be used in electric cars and smartphones as well. This means that electric cars and smartphones may be able to generate electricity by themselves without the need to charge them from power outlets. 광 흡수 능력이 크기 때문에 약한 그런 이제 빛에서도 발전을 할수 있으면은 어떤 이제 IT 디바이스의 이제 충전용 그 태양전지로도 응용 가능하지 않을까 그렇게 생각하고 연구 개발을 하고 있습니다. Next generation solar cells get greater growth potential from convergence with information technologies. In the smallest scale, devices could be attached with portable solar power generators to power themselves automatically. In the larger scale, it could become a core technology for the smart grid industry, which combines the electricity and IT industries. Solar PV system is coming in and with other the uh, storage, energy storage systems, ES is coming in and the energy efficient systems is coming in. So making a smarter energy systems for buildings and factories and communities and cities. So uh, other countries also is uh, looking at the solar PV and also they are looking at the renewable energy whole systems, making a, a city smarter than before. As innovations continue, solar energy is becoming more and more viable as a new value-added industry, a future in which buildings, cars, and smart devices generate their own electricity feels like it's just around the corner. What does Korea's startup scene look like in the eyes of aspiring entrepreneurs from overseas? We meet a former British CEO of a Dutch bank who has taken the plunge in Korea's English education business. Seoul-based Calm Island is a startup specializing in English education for young children. The colorful, spacious interior filled with a selection of character toys awaits visitors. Young visitors are drawn to the animation clip featuring 3D characters the inspiration for the toys that sing and dance to the upbeat music. Key difference in our products is really, it is the approach and 
basically what we ask the children to do is that it should be enjoyable is that when we learn English it's the characters are fun so first of all we ask the children to engage emotionally we don't just create characters we create them so children love them so the initial point is that through learning our song through watching our videos and our songs the children become emotionally involved with the characters Calm Island was the first Korean company to incorporate near-field communication, or NFC technology, into animations. When the user scans the NFC-enabled alphabet disc and character toy across the NFC reader, the matching character appears on the screen and sets off on an alphabet journey. The interactive setting allows children to identify with the featured characters helping them to pick up the English language more quickly and effectively. When the family is going away with the car, they can bring the tablet, they can bring the reader. They don't have to bring any charging cables and the children can enjoy playing the Padanama games with uh, this reader. Calm Island recruited a team of qualified researchers across the world, including Sweden, the US and the UK, to develop its products. Animators who had worked on 3D movies were also tapped to join the team. So this is our game development team. So this team coordinates with Sweden, where we have another office in Sweden, and where we develop our new products. This is low poly animation, where they make things for our games. And we animate various things, like this is like a horse, animation for our new game which is releasing in a few weeks. The CEO of Calm Island is British entrepreneur David Roberts, a former CEO of a Dutch bank who once oversaw thousands of employees. What did the financial specialist see in the education business? Yeah, the main reason was is that I was, I don't have children of my own, but I was playing with my sister's kids and they were aged uh, five and two at the time. And what I noticed was is that the way they played and learned uh, was really fascinating. And if, particularly if you bring together physical and digital, you can learn in a different way and you can explore new avenues. And it really was, no one else was doing it in the market. So I just thought it was a wonderful opportunity. But starting a business in a foreign land was not without challenges. The Korean government requires an investment of at least 100,000 U.S. dollars and a minimum shareholding of 10% in a local company from any foreign individual who wishes to start a business in Korea. Although Roberts met both requirements, he still had to face rough patches. If you can communicate effectively and if you can utilize the people, but either in technology or creative fields like animation, it's a great place to stay to start a company but communication you know for foreigners is difficult and the other problem is is that if or if you're a foreign company in Korea government agencies aren't that helpful because you're viewed as a uh, as a foreign company and nearly all government agencies whether it's the content agency COCA or whether it's the small business agency nearly all of that is focused to Korean owned businesses rather than foreign owned businesses in Korea where can foreigners turn to if they need help starting up their own businesses in Korea? The Seoul Global Center, a Seoul city-run expat assistance agency, can be a helpful source. It offers consulting, training, and incubation programs for aspiring startup founders from foreign countries. For the past four years, Calm Island has provided young English learners with innovative and interacting learning solutions setting itself apart from other English education providers in Korea. Robert says he prioritizes transparency in his business. I mean, the key is learning through play. The Padanamu is basically stress-free stress learning, and it's learning through play. 
but you can achieve the same objectives. When you do Padanamu courses, it's not not learning. It's just learning through a different method. He offers encouraging words for foreigners who are looking to start a new company in Korea. At the beginning, I guess it was interesting, but we made many mistakes at the beginning. And, you know, some of them were funny, but we had really no idea what we were doing whatsoever. So, you know, but I don't think you should be afraid of making mistakes, is that if you, particularly if you're going into a new business, you should just make mistakes and then look to correct and, and then move on to the next one. And I think that's the probably sort of that's the sort of the joy of the joy and pain of starting a new business. Calm Island has successfully entered Korea's startup scene by capitalizing on the market's potential. It will one day be a success story for future foreign founders in Korea. One of our question box viewers sent us an email asking us to verify the authenticity of the clip he saw on the internet. In the clip, a person puts out a fire using a loudspeaker instead of a fire extinguisher. 네, 원래 불을 끌때 물이나 소화기 분말을 끄잖아요. 그런데 이걸 보면 소리 하나로 불을 끌수 있다는 건데 이게 가능한가요? The concept of a sound-based fire extinguisher is not entirely new. In July 2012, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Project Agency released a video of its fire suppression system that can put out flames using only sound. After that, two U.S. engineering students developed a portable fire extinguisher that works with sound waves. The only problem with the device was its high sound level, loud enough to cause hearing loss. Now, a group of Korean researchers has recently unveiled a video claiming that the group could too blast out fire with a sound device. To find out if there is any editing trick involved in the clip, the question box camera visited the creators of the device, a research team at a local university. The researchers gave us a demonstration of their sound fire extinguisher. When pointed at the flames, the device immediately made them vanish, just like we saw in the video. 소리 바람 소화기는 소리가 불에 닿으면은 이불 분자를 흔들어 주게 되는데요. 그러면은 그 분자가 흔들려 가지고 불의 막이 얕아지면서 넓어지는 거죠. 이렇게 되면은 온도가 급속도로 낮아지면서 산소 유입을 차단하게 돼서 불이 꺼지는 그런 원리가 이 소리 소화기의 원리인데 거기에 이 포커싱을 넣어 가지고 효율을 10배 이상 개선을 시킨 것이 소리 바람 소화기의 원리라고 할 수가 있습니다. Sound creates vibrations and energy. A loud sound causes the fire molecules to vibrate and weakens the bonds between them, eventually lowering the temperature of the fire and extinguishing it. Professor Bay developed a sound focusing technology to maximize the effects. 소리 바람 소화기는 바로 이 포커싱을 넣어 가지고 즉 사운드 포커싱을 넣어 줌으로써 소리를 볼록 렌즈처럼 집중을 딱 시켜 줘요. 왜냐면 소리도 빛처럼 파동이기 때문에. 그래서 요 앞에 보면 렌즈 같은 게 들어가 있는데 그 렌즈를 통해 가지고 집속을 딱 시켜 주면은 그게 불에 닿으면은 닿는 면이 10배 이상으로 더 에너지가 집중이 돼서 효율이 개선이 됐다고 볼 수가 있습니다. This is the world's first fire extinguisher with sound focusing technology that converges sound, wind to put out fire. It marks a clear departure from previous sound blasting fire extinguishers that were either too heavy or loud. Now the challenge is to commercialize the device. It's still a fledging technology and there is much room for improvement. But the research team is optimistic about its potential. 막 이제 이 소리 바람 소화기가 이제 막 탄생을 했으니까 이제 더 많은 연구자들 저를 위시한 사람들이 이것을 좀더 가볍게 또좀더먼 거리까지 이런 것들을 주민 기법을 써 가지고 한다 그러면은 훨씬 더이 대형 화재 중형 화재에도 요긴하게 쓸 수가 있다 이제 그런 연구를 이 국책 과제를 통해 가지고 아니면 뭐 글로벌 
프로젝트를 해가지고 충분히 개선할 수 있다고 생각합니다. So it turns out extinguishing fire with sound is possible. It's still an unfamiliar concept to many, but one day we may be able to see firefighters carrying around a loudspeaker instead of hose jets to tackle fire. We wait for your participation at Bizline. Please leave your questions on economic facts or puzzling information. We'll try to find the answer. On next week's Bizline, OTT service Netflix is headed to Korea. How will this change Korea's media market? Multiple users interacting in a single virtual space and other technologies in virtual reality. Learn how to code and become a developer. Daddy's Lab, a coding academy for ordinary people. The premium water market is expanding day by day. Is expensive water really better? Find out more on our next episode.